Graphs visually show all solutions of an equation. y equals the quantity x minus 1 squared minus 3. And here are ordered pairs that make the equation true. We have quite a bit of solutions. And the more and more solutions that we have, the better we understand the shape, and in this case, curves. So let's read. Enough solution points create what appears to be a line or a curve. Here are those five points that we have confirmed as solutions plotted on our graph, and we begin to see that this has got a little bit of a curve. And if we started to plot even more points, we would see even more of a better shape as to what this equation and its solutions are starting to do for this graph. And if we get enough of these points, there would be so many of them tightly packed together that by our eye, we would just see a connected curve that has no dots at all. Any ordered pair that lies on this line is a solution to this equation. Any point that is clearly not on this graph is not a solution to this equation. For example, the point 1, 3, if there was a dot right here in this location, this is clearly not part of this graph pattern line. So that means that the point 1, 3 would never be in this table, would never make this equation true. Let's check for understanding. Which is another solution for the equation? Explain. Here is the same equation, so we can look at this same graph right here. And let's think about these two ordered pair locations. Positive 3, positive 1, and positive 2, negative 4. Point blank is a solution because... A, positive 3, positive 1, which is located positive 3, positive 1 around here, is a solution because the point positive 3, positive 1 is on the graph. Also, if we did the math, we would see that replacing our equation with x equals 3 and y equals 1 would create a true equation. The point that didn't work, positive 2, negative 4, would be located positive 2, negative 4 would be in this region, which is not part of the solutions graph.